the first and also the oldest black church in Columbus, St. Paul, in 1814. The first Methodist church in Columbus was erected, which was located on a lot donated by the city. In 1823, Moses Freeman separated from the town street church and with only 12 followers, he organized an independent society. At the beginning, they held their meetings from house to house, then in rented, ho in rented rooms until 1839. When they erected their church on East Long Street, it was just a little log cabin located on the east side of LaZelle Street, north of Spring Street. This, their first church, was named Bethel. The first pastor's name is unknown. Outgrowing the little log cabin in 1830, another site was selected on Long Street between 3rd and High Street. The first annual conference was held in this building August 26, 1837. Bishop Moses Brown, who organized the conference in 1833, decided the frame building was too small for the occasion, and an attempt was made to extend it. The members of Bethel AME Church continued to work together to solve their common problems, having surmounted the sacrifice and struggles which confronted them during their first 21 years. They were now prepared to meet the challenges ahead. The sacrifices and struggles were not in vain for God, crowned their efforts with success, and the church grew rapidly. In 1841, a brick church was built replacing the old frame building. Of the same location, it was completed in 1844. A new site was consent on the north side of Long Street, almost directly opposite Bethel Church. William Jones, deacon and member of the church, called upon the owner of the property, Miss Stanberry, and persuaded her to sell a lot to the church for $3,000. Members went to work with a notable spirit of consecration and devotion to build up their new church. In 1870, construction began under the administration of J.P. Underwood. The church was completed in 1871 at a cost of $14,000. General conferences was held at St. Paul in 1890. From its pulpit went five pastors to highest honor in the AME church. The first school for the education of black youth was established by St. Paul. John Brown was the first teacher. Mother Ellen Bell, age 92, and the oldest member born in Columbus was one of its pupils. In 1905, under the pastorate of Robert R. Downs, lots of purchase for $6,000. At the location where the church now stands, 639E Long, erection of the edifice began immediately and completed at a cost of $40,000 under the pastorate of Rev. J.W. Henderson. It was completed in 1906. The original color of the building was gray. Press brick was sandstone trim. A pipe organ was installed in March 1920 at a cost of $7,408. Miss Emma Coleman had the distinction of paying the last $10 due on the organ debit in 1921. Alvia A. Shaw, assigned in October 1956, guided the purchase and remodeling of an old former laundry building across the street from the church. It became the annex, which housed the offices and multi-purpose space, kitchen and rooms upstairs. Shaw changed the services time from 1 at 11 a.m. to 8 a.m. service and 11 a.m. The original Austin pipe organ was rebuilt at a cost of $100,000 and two church vans purchased. Dr. Taylor T. Thompson was assigned to St. Paul in November 2012, March 29, 2013. He and the church boards worked with financial institutions to resolve the financial crisis which threatened the sale of the church. After six years of much praying and hard work, the church's position was stabilized. The church's office was relocated to the overflow area in 2019. Kevin Cooper was assigned to St. Paul in October 2019 during his administration virtual church services. They were introduced because of the coronavirus 19, which affected the world. Cooper held the first of these services on March 22, 2020, in the sanctuary with a small praise team. The next services were held from his home with only his wife and son. He delivered powerful sermons, which were well received. Because of his concern for the senior members, he contacted them to check on their well-being and offered prayer.